Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order, and we're here, I believe, with episode number 20. Yeah, I don't know my own episode numbers. It's okay. Of our Pokemon Shield playthrough here on the channel. If you're excited for some more Galar action, smack that like button down below to show me I got your support. If you missed any episodes, of course, check the link in the description to the full playlist, and subscribe for future episodes as they come out. Okay, so we basically made our way here in the last episode on Route 5, which I believe is, looks like a breeding center. We did get ourselves a little bit more up to speed with our Pokemon. We went and did a max raid battle, bought some more ingredients from the ingredient seller in the wild area. And the last little raid battle was kind of difficult. In fact, we got Sailor Pika in the chat with me right now. Sailor Pika, if you have a moment, can you let me know what are the different tiers of max raid battles that I have to look forward to? Because I've seen a one star and a two star. Um, the two star seemed like it might have been too much for me to like take on alone, even though you got to do it with four people anyway. But I might stay away from two star ratings for a little bit until we get more up to speed. Speaking of up to speed, let's get you folks up to speed on our current team members. We've got Mando, our Galarian Slowpoke, at level 21, holding the Orin Berry, which with her HP is not going to help too much, but we don't get anything better just yet. She is a lonely Pokemon with Zen Headbutt, Bulldoze Headbutt, and Yawn. I didn't mention her in the grinding last time, but we did pick up Headbutt. I did get rid of Payday. I mean, it doesn't give you too much money at a lower level, so I can do without that for now. Uh, and if we can actually slow things down enough with Bulldoze, Headbutt could get some flinches. Also, she has the own tempo ability, preventing confusion and apparently intimidates. Next up is Hefty, our Trubbish at level 24, with the uh, leftovers, uh, restoring HP every turn. He is naive by nature. He's got Sludge, Toxic Spike, Stockpile, and Swallow, the ability being Sticky Hold, and he's got four Dynamax candies bumped into him. Of course, we did that for our Grass Gym recently. And last but not least, we have got our starting Pokemon, Slick the level 25 Drizile, with the Mystic Water to power up water type attacks. The nature is sassy, the moves are Water Pulse, Swift, Bind, and Tearful Look. And the ability, of course, as all starters tend to have, is a Torrent. Alright, with that Torrent of information, looks like raids go up to 5 stars. So I'll probably say once I get 2 of the 8 badges, I might be at a decent level enough to, to uh, handle the 2 stars. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll base it off of my levels. I'll figure that out. I gotta do some thinking after, you know, off screen, let's say. Nice to see a new face around here. This is a Pokemon nursery. We take care of people's Pokemon here. When people leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find eggs. If you're interested in that sort of thing, ask the old lady inside to tell you more. Do you want to leave any Pokemon with me? No. We want to keep our team as a whole cohesive unit. Do come back soon. I may, or may not. Let's go and find out. Hey, it's a Toxel. Tox Tox. He does like to Tox a lot, doesn't he? See? I tried to talk to her and he took over the uh, thing. It's a Toxel! A real Toxel! I found an egg and carried it around with me, and it hatched into a Toxel! Why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokémon! Free Pokémon! Alright. Wasn't intending to add this to my team. Toxel's data will be added. Toxel! The baby Pokémon! It manipulates the chemical makeup of its poison to produce electricery. The voltage is weak, but it can cause a tingling paralysis. Uh, we're not gonna nickname you, because honestly, I didn't know we were getting you. So we're going to send you off to the uh, PC. Tox, tox. And take these too. They'll help your Pokemon grow if you use them. Candies. XP candies XS. Okay. Didn't I already get some of these? Why is it telling me? I thought I had some of these. Eggs are found in Pokemon nurseries. Ex experience candies are found from max raid battles. And you found yourself a real nice friend today, wouldn't you say? Uh... Whoa, wrong thing. You might say that, or I might just uh, send it off to... Oh, it's level 1. Although you're not a Dynamax. I'll put you down. No, I'm going to leave you with the friends. I'll put you up here. There we go. I don't want to leave it on by, all by itself in the box, you know. Not that that matters, but it matters to me. Okay, blah, 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 same stuff. What do you have to say, ma'am? Oh, welcome. Is there anything you'd like to know about? Just tell me everything, I guess, but the nursery. Here at the Pokemon Nursery, we take care of the Pokemon that trainers leave with us. The Pokemon we look after won't get strong, but if you leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find Pokemon eggs. So, okay, that's the difference here at the nursery as opposed to, uh, the other place? Whatever the other place might be? Uh, unless... Am I confused? And this is... I don't know. Anyway, 
They don't gain any experience, apparently, from now on. If you want to leave Pokemon with us, speak to my granddaughter. Okay, what about the eggs? If, if you put a Pokemon egg in your party and carry it around, a Pokemon will hatch from it. No one knows where the eggs come from. They're truly mysterious. That didn't tell me too much, but okay. Tell me about what Pokemon I should leave. If you want to find Pokemon eggs, think about the two Pokemon you leave here. I recommend you leave two of the same species of Pokemon with different genders. What about Voltorb? If the species are similar, we may, feel st we may still find a Pokemon egg. But it seems we never find eggs with certain combinations of Pokemon left here. But now we're good. We know all about the breedings. I did a bunch of that for some of our... Uh, what were they? Challenge giveaway things on the uh, channel some time ago with Pokemon Moon? Maybe? Okay, you found the right place to come to for all your Pokemon egg find and needs. Okay, so over this way, we got Team Yell yelling up a storm, but I want to check out the rest of this route before we go any further. And we got some trainers to take on. My partner Pokemon's been growing in a really unique way. Check, check, check to check it, check it out. What you got, Mr. Heel Ball? Adrian. For those of you who may have been following me throughout my entire career, going all the way back to Pokemon Blue, you know this name has a connection. Isn't that Dark type? Oh! But luckily you're not a Dark type Pokemon, and it does no damage to us. And it did some, but whatever. Oh, and that doesn't do as much to you as I thought it was going to do to you. But we should be able to handle another brutal swing, unless it's a critical. What are the odds of that? There we go. I love tempting fate by asking such questions, because it keeps things interesting, and you never know what to expect to happen. Okay, let's take this down. Zen Headbutt connects. Excellent. Down goes your fighting normal stuffed teddy bear. The one that I actually picked up in Pokemon Go. I think it's a three star. And I named it Fazbear. I feel like that's a pretty fitting name for a big stuffed bear type thing that can snap people in half with a hug. Oh wait, you have a Ralts too? So that's Psychic Fairy. We are low on the HPs. So let's go ahead and switch. Uh, do we switch Hefty in on a Psychic type? I think we've got the defenses to handle it. Plus, our level is, like, five above. What are th what's the worst thing that could happen, bringing poison versus psychic? Especially since a psychic was on the field. They're not going to go for... Yeah, they went for fairy move. They're not going to try and confusion our psychic type. And I do believe a nice, powerful sludge attack should do a number on this little Ralts here. You know what I could even do? I could cook up some more curry to heal them up and save myself items, first of all, and add to my curry decks. I think that's a courageous choice to make. That doesn't make sense. Wait, we're not done yet? I gotta look at the smaller screen. I gotta see how many Pokemon these people have. What you got next? Cutie Fly, another fairy type. Not bad. And this is your finale Pokemon. Let's go. Should I do curry? I don't know. I don't want to waste too much time doing curry on screen, because I'm, I'm, you, you know, no one really needs to see every time I make a new curry. Pokemon are living creatures, after all. You can't always raise them how you want. You gotta treat them with respect. They, as you say, they are individuals with their own minds and feelings and stuff. Raising Pokemon unselfishly means that they'll show you their new capabilities. Exactly. What? I mean, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take his word for it. All right. So, yeah. Did Experience Candy XS. Yeah, why did it say, like, I got a new item when we didn't? That was weird. Okay, let's give you another Orin Berry. And I will just use potions. I actually got some super potions now, too. They heal back 50, is it, or 60? 60. Well, we're still not quite to the point we need to use those just yet, but we'll use some of our potions. Uh, we'll give one to Hefty as well. I think that's good for the time being. Okay, so let's move onward, find some more trainers. And I'll do a little bit of hunting in the grass, maybe between this episode and the next, to see are there any, you know, what are the levels of the wild Pokemon. Hey, it's female Mario. You know, this region has the most round-nosed characters I've ever seen. Not that that's a bad thing, I'm just saying it's very... Very distinct, very noticeable. Okay, let's see if we can slow you down enough with the bulldoze to uh, flinch you out possibly with a Zen headbutt. You're gonna draw up my attack stat? Minchino, why are you gonna do such things? 
It's okay damage. I... Am I going to outspeed after one bulldoze? I'm going to take a wild guess and say that I won't. But let's try to get a nice same type attack boost. Zen headbutt. Ah! Ooh. That... Okay, our defense went down. I was like... Our accuracy didn't fall. Why are you starting missing there, Mando? This is not the way. And we lost more attack stat. What is happening? Land the hit. Thank you. Now, this is not going to take it out. We got tickled twice. Let's use a standard headbutt. Make sure we connect. Oh, come on! I'm gonna potion. Don't heal back too much. You're in the green! How much will this headbutt do? Enough that one more will take you down. You only get one more Pokemon after this. Oh, <laughs> we're hitting Encore anyway. Alright then. You like the headbutt so much, you want to see it twice, three times, four times a lady. Is that it? No, it's three times a lady, isn't it? Either way, Mando is a lady. He's going to find her her helmet. Okay, level 22 for our Galarian Slowpoke. No new move, but that I guess is okay. Steamy, itchy nose. That is a grass type. And I don't know if it's wise to stay in with defense down by two. Let's switch over into our poison type hefty hefty cinch sack. And cinch this battle up quickly as can be by taking out Steamy with a sludge or three. It might actually take a few sludges now that our attack stat has fallen. Is it just attack? Yes, it is. But we got the leftovers healing us up, so I don't think we're in any trouble of fainting anytime soon. Let's go ahead and one hit KO, maybe? What do you think, folks? Still got the power, even with the play nice. That is pretty nice, I will have to say. Alright, level up for anybody? No, of course not. We're nowhere near a level up. We just got one. Breeder Deborah is done. I wasn't sure which moves to use and got lost in thought. 1,824 buckaroonies in the old pocket rooney. Thank you. I was chased by Pokemon in the tall grass and ended up wandering aimlessly. Well, I was attacked by my cat's hair once again. Every day with this kitty cat hair. Yeah, you can use a potion, Mando. I need to go buy more of these things. Hefty OP, says Sailor Pika. Hefty does have some pretty good heft to him, doesn't he? Okay, we got some spritzies here. We got another camp. Now, I'm, when I was editing a video, I noticed that I was confused about why there were like seven Pokemon at one camp. But then I was also wondering, why is there a kid in an Eevee costume? So, each person can only bring, I guess, six Pokemon to a camp. We can have up to like four people connected at one camp. So, that's why you can have more than six. I know that now. The secret to preparing an amazing meal is stirring it just right over the perfect heat. You know you're doing it great if the top of the pot starts sparkling. Why don't I stop by my camp and practice cooking a bit? Well, not just yet. I'm going to steal this. Two big mushrooms. Let's see what Pokemon you've got at your camp. It'd be really cool if you could, s like, seeing the Pokemon at the camp would show you them in the uh, Pokedex. Oh, he's got a bunch of the babies. Look at this. Ah. Oh. He's got Togepi. Why not? Badoo. Uh, Cleffa Pichu. Where's Igglybuff? Well, is Jigglypuff in this? We do see a Munchlax. But again, it'd be nice if you could actually get these added to your Pokedex, so if any of these I was planning to add to my team, I could then see where they would appear. Well, I've actually seen Munchlax in the wild area, but I'm pretty sure the other... Well, have I seen Badoo? I believe... No, I've seen a trainer's Badoo. And I'm pretty sure most of the uh, baby Pokemon could only find from eggs anyway. Right. That's all well and good. Wait, can I not send all my Pokemon here? I only get to send my one Pokemon... What? That's nonsense. That's nonsense. I got three on my team. Oh well. Okay, we still got some time for this episode. Let's beat up some more trainers. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Oh, we got a cookie dude. Can he give me some ingredients? Wait. Do you see what's up the top of the screen? A glowy Pokemon. We got Watts waiting for us. But right now. Oh, I found a trainer whilst gathering berries. Give me some berries. I want some berries. Cook Stuart. Because, see, I still can't bring myself to shake down the berries that other Pokemon... Like, it's the, if they hadn't worded it the way they say, uh, this is a... I'm going to yawn, actually. They say this is a tree where Pokemon hoard their berries. I would be okay with shaking the trees down. But it makes it sound like I'm going to steal a Pokemon's berry hoard from them. I can't do that. 
Okay, so are you grass type or just dragon? Let me try bulldoze. I want to see. I want to. I want to lower its speed too, though. Okay, that looks like neutral damage. Oh, it is grass type. Never mind. Grass does resist our ground. Oh, your defense is going up, man. I don't like that. I am learning indeed, Sailor Pika. Thank you for the gold star. I feel special. So this confirms, which everyone already knew, but maybe I didn't, that Applin's eyes are those green thingies. Oh, we're out quicker? After one bulldoze? Mando. You may be a female, but you're the Mando. Get it? Anyway, let's get this knockout. I don't know if this one's going to do it. We land critical. It could. Aw, oh, woke up already. This, this is an astonishing Applin, indeed. That's the only second one I've ever found. You know, I was talking about his design, I think, was it earlier? I think it was the end of the last episode, but, <coughs> excuse me, the way the shape of the red and the yellow looks, it does look like dragon fangs, I guess. It looks like a mouth, so I guess that looks pretty cool. I've never seen an apple look like that in reality. But then again, this is the Pokemon world. Reality does not need to exist. I should have given my Pokemon a berry when its HP got low. You coulda, you woulda, but you didn't. Different Pokemon love different berries, so we gotta gather a lot of different kinds. Are you not gonna give me one? Okay, let's beat up this Minchino. Let's get us some wattage. I'm still waiting to see what's our shiny Pokemon gonna be of the place. Not that we're limited to only one. Oh, level 21! I feel like let's switch. <laughs> so at least that shows we can get our team to level 26 on this route. Me? Mm, I won't grind just yet. I'm gonna wait till we get to the next town. I think that's usually what I do anyway. Like, I wait until I get to the next town, and before we tackle a gym, I then grind up before taking on the gym based on the previous route, so I'll stick to that. Now, what did you just hit me with? Charm? I think that lowers my special attack, but or physical, but Sludge is special. I didn't see if... Never mind. That's just, I didn't see if you have any more Pokemon on your team, but this is a wild encounter. I am learning. Wild Pokemon do not have teams. What if a team of Pokemon in the wild could come after you? I guess that's similar to uh, horde battles from X and Y. Could also be similar to, uh, oh, yep, Flail. Get out of here with that nonsense right now. Will the sludge take you out? I hope so. But didn't we all love in Sun and Moon, of course, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon as well, when Pokemon would call for help, the SOS battles? Weren't those the funnest? When you're just trying to get from root to root on your first playthrough? I mean, they were great. Oh, 219 watts. They were great when we wanted to look for shiny Pokemon. But when you're just going on your first adventure, man, those SOSs got kind of annoying, didn't they? Okay, I think we've cleared out all the trainers here. I'm just going to do a backtrack for a moment. Yeah, we should be all swell and dandy. So let's head back up and see what Team Yell's got going on. The Minchinos are chonky indeed, Sailor Pika. They got some defenses on them. Alright, what's going on over here? <coughs> Excuse me. Oi! Just hand over that bike already! We needed to cross this long bridge! We can't use that bike to chase around gym challenges! It'll be a scream! How barbaric. It wouldn't work anyway. You don't even have a Rotom with you. Don't I? Hey, young gym challenger, they're trying to steal my bike! You're a doctor, aren't you? Please, if you could give them a good thrashing, I would be in your debit. You could be in my debit card? Get out of there, that's where my money goes. Boy, we're not trying to steal the bike, only borrow it. We're going to use it to chase after gym challenges and make them all tired. But I'm thinking you deserve a special shout out. I'm going to crush you in battle. Just the one? Alright, do you have your dark type uh, Ziggy Zagoonies? Please don't have a Ziggy Zagoonie, you got a Ziggy Zagoonie. I have a psychic type on the field. Ain't the greatest. So let's go into... It's only level 17. Let's go into our good old hefty hefty. And drop this thing. I want... Okay, I know I was going overboard with my whole... I want more team members. And of course, I'm only limiting myself by only getting certain things. But what I really want right now is my next badge. Because that's going to allow me to get a new Pokemon that I do know where to find on my team. Ah, uh, once we can, you know, catch higher level ones. Okay, you're just lowering all my offenses, aren't you? Snarl for special, baby doll eyes for physical. Can the sludge still take you down, though? 
Of course not. But we get the poison. And, besides which, a second sludge takes you down regardless. Look at, these, look at this guy rocking back there. As Sailor Pika says in our live stream chat, a cringy cheer squad indeed. How does Marnie put up with these folks? And, I mean, I'm sure if she gave them commands, they would follow. But does she even really lead them? I, I don't know the connection there, but they don't seem like the types that, you know... Or she doesn't seem like the type that would willingly be their leader. You love the dark type. Ooh! Hmm. First time seeing a Thievel on the field. I read the name Thievel and I was thinking, uh, Nick it. That's not, ooh, we're getting good with the sludge poisons. Not bad. Alright, Hefty, keep that uh, HP rolling on in. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can uh, thieve this Pokemon's HP away from it. Now, is that not the perfect Pokemon to name Swiper? Just think, all of my fellow Dora the Explorers. Oh, did I say Explorer? Uh, we just took a critical hit. Which is not critically great. But all of my fellow Dora the Explorer fans, obviously that's a Swiper no Swiping. Okay, with our stats being what they are, let's retreat back into Slick. We haven't even used him yet in this episode. Not that I'm aware of. I don't think I used him in the last episode either, because he's already you know, high enough level we don't need to train him up. And Tail... Oh, you're going for the Tail Whip now? This thing's all about lowering... Or his team's all about lowering stats. What is stats all about? Come on, let's go with a nice Mystic Water Boosted Water Pulse. I'm thinking gets the KO. Down it goes, and if it didn't, I'm sure the poison would have been enough to pick up the win. And down goes Team Yell number one. Nice experience for the squad. We're Team Yell! We get up in the faces of trainers! And you also hand out some money, too. Don't fight me, other Yell. Gah! You crushed my attempt to crush you! Why, you? I want that bike! Don't get in my way! They have safety pins on their backs. Okay, this is taking me well past the timer. We've got 30 seconds left. I'm ending the timer right now. We're seeing a Sableye, which is not great. Ghost and Dark. Plus, we didn't get to heal between battle. So, Hefty, we're going to let you sit out. We're going to go right into Slick. And let's drop this guy lickety-quick. If at all possible. I want to go and get, like, a TM that teaches... Or, sorry, a TR. Or, actually, I wouldn't mind a TM that teaches an ice-type attack, because I feel like I want more type diversity for Slick, and very few of the TMs I've picked up along the way have been teachable to our Drizzile. Well, I have his normal and water on him right now. I would like a little bit more, uh, variety. Okay, Hefty hits level 25. Mando hit level 23. Not bad. Do we see an evolution into our big garbage bag yet? I was too distracted by that boy. Otherwise, there's no way I'd lose to a yellow belly like you yell o belly Another 1440. These, these guys are consistent on their monies, at least. You're too strong! If you stay in the gym challenge, you're gonna cause problems for Our Lady! You haven't seen the last of us? We're gonna make sure you stay out of Our Lady's way! Later, guys. Alright, that wasn't so bad. My word, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokedex, too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic! I think I'll give this bike to you, then. Better you have it than Team Yell. Now, you know that Rotom loved motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right into machines that have motors. So that got me thinking. If I attached a motor to a bicycle, then maybe I could get a Rotom to pop into that as well. I see. Come now, give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with Rotom to the fullest. Chop, chop, come on now. You and Rotom ride that bicycle together. We got Rotom bike. Nice. This bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom to use a turbo boost. I'll read the manual. Press the plus or minus button to ride your bike with Rotom. Let's get cycling. Now, do we get to build up watts doing this, I think? Or is that an upgrade you get later? Either way, we got us a new uh, ride Pokemon. We got Ride Rotom. But with that, we're done for today's or this episode. i got to stop saying today's because I don't know how many episodes per day you'll be seeing today. Anyway. We are done for this episode. I want to say, folks, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed our adventures thus far, 
hit that like button down below and show your support on our Galarian adventure. If you want to see some more episodes as they occur, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button for notifications when new videos come your way. You can also get caught up on the previous adventures by checking the link in the description to the full playlist. Also, if you want to be here during live stream nights, which are generally Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, unless I'm dying from sickness or something, feel free to join as a channel member and lab aides do get to be here live during our live streams as I record these episodes. And feel free to follow me on other social media linked in the description such as Twitter and Instagram. I'm not as lively on there as I used to be, but I should get back to doing that again because it's fun. Anyways, with all that, Professor Chaz is signing off. Thank you again for watching, and I will catch you next time.